हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इंग्लिश होट एंड क्लासेस एक्सरसाइज फोर्टी सिक्स गेट रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन स्टार्ट द क्रैक्स ऑफ द होल मैटर देअ फोर इज द इन एबिलिटी ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट टू मैनिपुलेट द प्राइसिस इन ए मैनर वेयर वाई इट मे बी पॉसिबल टू अचीव crop planning in order to achieve the desired results stop as long as this price structure is allowed to move in the manner in which it is moving today whatever may be the policy of the government howsoever much credit they may pump into the agricultural sector whatever the amenities they may give to the agriculturalists it will not be possible for us to achieve the targets in the manner in which we want to achieve stop i would have been satisfied if as a result of this increased agricultural production the farmer was better off stop but we find that whenever there is increased production in response to higher prices the markets slump down so heavily that ultimately the farmer stands to loss instead of to gain stop therefore the farmer losses both ways and the country also losses stop the farmer puts in more money more resources in the production of crops for which the expects higher returns and he loses all that money because the prices are not rising to his expectations and instead the prices fall down rather precipitously and the country is also losing because there is a very uneven development of agriculture stock therefore the crux of the whole problem is not just to hold the price line or just to see that black marketing is avoided stock that is only one part of the job a very important part of the price policy and that has got to be kept in mind stop i am not against it in fact i am all for it and i blame the government for not being able to do it so far but this is another aspect of the price policy to which the planning commission it seems to me has not applied its mind properly so far namely the use of price policy as an instrument of crop planning and as long as that particular tool is not utilized for this objective it will not be possible for us to have a planned development of our economy stop then there is the question of incentives so we are now told every time that unless incentives are given it will not be possible for us to develop our economy stop we are hearing daily about our export promotion stop now the problem of incentives also has to be viewed in terms of the objective of the development of a socialist economy in our country and not just from the point of view of earning more and more foreign balances stop i am not in any way belittling the problem of foreign balances but ultimately the problem of foreign balances has significance and meaning only in terms of the objectives that the third plan has set before it stop therefore when we are talking of incentives in order to earn 
मोर फॉरन बैलेंसिस वी हैव ऑल्सो टू थिंक ऑफ इंसेंटिव इन टर्म्स ऑफ अचीविंग द ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट वी हैव गोट इन माइंड स्टॉप I was therefore disappointed to read the speech of the planning minister as he said as the planning minister at the Indian Labour Conference in which he seems to have indicated a new approach to the problem of wages stop his approaches has passed through three stages stop in the first stage just after the general election the planning minister came out with a statement that he was thoroughly dissatisfied with the way in which the ways structure had developed and that he meant to do something about it stop he categorically stated that the real wages had not increased because of intransigence of the management and he further stated that he wanted to do something about it stop then there came about a discussion as to what could be done and all the industrialists themselves and the financial newspapers in this country came out with the theory that wages could be increased only if productivity is increased and therefore wages should be linked with productivity stop that was the second stage wages increase productivity and wages will be increased stop that was the slogan or that was the principle which was accepted even by the industrialists stop but what do we find in the speech of the planning minister to the indian labor conference stop there he says that even if productivity increases the first charge will be in respect of projects which are meant for further employment or creation of more employment opportunities stop that means even if productivity increases it is not that the workers will immediately benefit in terms of higher wages so that it may be possible for them to improve their standard of living a little bit stop even if productivity rises the fruits of productivity will go to schemes for creating further employment opportunities in the country stop how long are the workers to wait and what exactly will be the stage at which it can be stated that enough employment opportunities have been created and therefore the stage has come for increased wages stop